teacher today. Just call me Maestro Bino. Let me show you an illustration. This illustration represents bits. So we have a total of four bits here, which are equal to whole note. All right, let's play the bit. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. We have a total of four bits. So now, let us play again the four bits by counting one, two, three, four. Let's do it together. One bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, one bit, two bit, three bit, Four bit, one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit. Now that we did it well together, I know that you are familiar with the bits. Let me introduce you some musical notes. And of course, it's time value which is represented through bits. This is a whole note. It has a time value of four bits of sound. This is a half note. It has a time value of two bits of sound. This is a quarter note. It has a time value of one bit of sound. This is the eighth note. It has a time value of one half bit of sound. And the last one is the 16th note. It has a time value of one fourth bit of sound. Now that we are familiar with some of the musical notes, let us study the musical rest. As we play the musical notes, it also receives the same or equal number of bits of silence. But before we go on, let me introduce you some of the musical rest. This is a whole rest. It has a four bits of silence. This is a half rest. It has a two bits of silence. This is a quarter rest and it has a one bit of silence. This is an eight rest. It has a one half bit of silence. And the last one is we have a 16th rest. It has one fourth bit of silence. Now that we all know the musical notes and rest and of course their time value which is either be represented by the bits of sounds or by the beats of silence. Now, to continue our lesson, let us know how notes and rests are being connected to each other. This time, we will play a whole note and of course, with its beat of silence. Ten. This is the sound of four beats. Ten. And a silence of four beats. Ten. Silence. What do you observe? As we play the musical note, it also receives an equal bits of silence. Now, let's have a half note. A half note has a two bits of sound. Okay, let's play. Ten. 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 Two bits of sound. Silence. Two bits of sound. Two bits of silence. It's very enjoyable to know them all. But as we continue, let me show you another example of notes and rest and how they are connected to each other. We have a quarter note. A quarter note has a time value of one bit. And of course, a quarter note receives a quarter rest or one bit of silence. Let us play. Ten. 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 That is a quarter note. Another example of notes and bits. This is an eighth note. It has a time value of one half bit and its rest is an eighth rest. It has a time value of one half bits of silence. Let's play. Ten ten. Ten ten. Ten ten. Ten ten. Since this is an eighth note, we just divided a quarter note into two. The last one is the sixteenth note. It has a time value of one fourth bit. And it has a musical rest which has a time value of one fourth bit of silence. Let's play it. 
Tatatantan. 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 Now that we all know the musical notes and rest and how they are connected to each other, can you tell me your observations about our topic? We observed that the whole note is played longer compared to the other notes because it requires four bits of sounds to play a whole note. Now, let me know if you really understand our lesson. Let's focus on the notes. You can get a sheet of paper and you can write your answer there. This is the direction. Write down the name of the notes that is shown by your teacher. Are you ready? Let's begin. What's this? How about this one? And how about this one? Is it easy? The next one is, how about this one? And we have the last one. Are you done? This is the last one. What's this? Thank you for your cooperation. Now let's move on to the musical rest. Are you ready? What is this? How about this one? How about how about this one? And this one? And this one? And the last one is Thank you for the cooperation. Now, I'm going to present a song and then you're going to identify the notes and rest in the song. Get another sheet of paper. Are you done? Let's get started. If you are done already, shall we check if all of your answers are correct? 